Well, hello and how are you? Hey friends, welcome to the Shin Show. I am your host, Shando Prisco, coming to you from right here in St. Charles, Missouri. Anyway, today is Sunday, May the 9th, 2021. Got a pokey pal out there, Amanda Sue Little. And then there's the Shin Show sharer, Steve Clary. <laughs> oh well, that didn't work. Now, as most of my friends know, that if I sneeze, it's about that loud anyway. But that one didn't actually sneeze. So, thank you for the blessings anyway, but there is one on the... <laughs> on the way. <laughs> it was on the way. And, well, it came out today. There it was. No, I ain't got a whole lot of time to search things up, because I was... uh doing some blog posting, backlog posting of the Bible with Briscoe, so I didn't get quite <laughs> caught up. Anyway, I am allergic to the Shin Show. That's what it is. Looks like it's time to do weather, though, and the weather forecast for today is uh, going to be brought to you by Refreshing Word Fellowship Church. That's right, Refreshing Word Fellowship Church is located at 2054 Campus Drive, St. Charles, Missouri, 63301. So don't forget to head on over there at Sunday mornings at 11 a.m. and on Wednesdays for prayer group at 1.30 p.m. That's Refreshing Word Fellowship Church located at 20. 54 Campus Drive, St. Charles, Missouri. Alrighty, alrighty. Alrighty then. Anyway, here we go with the weather forecast. Right now, it is a balmy 60. No, is that right? 60. Uh, the, yeah, about 60, 63 degrees. So, anyway, we're going to have some passing clouds overnight with some low temperatures around 39 degrees Fahrenheit with winds north and northeast at 5 to 10 miles per hour. And then Monday, May the 10th, we're going to have a mixture of clouds and sunshine early, then becoming cloudy later in the day. Highs only up to 65 degrees Fahrenheit with winds north to northeast at 5 to 10 miles per hour. A few clouds overnight with low temperatures reaching down around 45 degrees Fahrenheit. Winds are going to be light and variable. And then Tuesday, May the 11th, Overcast skies, highs around 64 degrees Fahrenheit, with winds northeast at 10 to 15 miles per hour. Mostly cloudy skies early will become partly cloudy overnight. Uh, low temperatures around 43 degrees Fahrenheit, with winds east to northeast at 5 to 10 miles per hour. Wednesday, uh, May the 12th. A few clouds early, otherwise mostly sunny. Highs around 66 degrees Fahrenheit, with winds east to northeast at 10 to 15 miles per hour. Generally fair skies overnight, with low temperatures around 45 degrees Fahrenheit. Winds are going to be northeast at 5 to 10 miles per hour. Thursday, May the 13th. Partly cloudy skies with high temperatures around 68 degrees Fahrenheit. Winds are going to be northeast at 5 to 10 miles per hour. A few clouds from time to time with low temperatures around 46 degrees Fahrenheit. And winds are going to be light and variable. And for our final day of our five-day forecast, Friday, May the 14th, Partly cloudy skies with high temperatures around 71 degrees Fahrenheit. With winds south to southeast at 5 to 10 miles per hour. Increasing cloudiness with some showers arriving sometime after midnight. Low temperatures around 54 degrees Fahrenheit. Winds are going to be southeast at 5 to 10 miles per hour. Chances of rain 40%. Now... That being said, today is what day? Tuesday the what? Tuesday the 9th? May 9th? No, today's Sunday. 
Say today is Sunday, May the 9th. And do you know what that means? That means it's Mother's Day. So I do have birthday shout outs. Birthday shout outs to every child birthed on this day. And you know why you're getting a special shout out? It's because your mother, that's right, your mother, she's the one. She brought it all about. Actually, God brought it all about, but you were brought about by your mother. And so, without further ado, happy Mother's Day to each and every one of you mothers out there. I'm going to do this song right here. Song lyrics, M O. T H E R Mother Mother, Mother, how's the family? I'm just calling to say hello. That ain't right. Song lyrics M O T H. Song lyrics, Mother. That's not it. Okay, I'll have to do it a different way. Wake up. Start notepad. M. Scratch that. Cap M. Spacebar. Cap O. Spacebar. Cap T. Spacebar. Tap H. Spacebar. Tap E. Tap E. Correct that. Choose one. Tap R. Song lyrics. Correct that. Song lyrics. Cut line. <laughs> we'll try it this way. Go to sleep. Paste that. Wake up. Paste that. Go to sleep. Song lyrics M is for the way you made me. Okay, here we go. M is for the million things she gave me. O means only that she's growing older. T is for the tears that she shed to save me. H is for her heart of purest gold. E is for her eyes with loving light shining. And R means right and right shall always be. Put them all together they spell mother. A word that means the world to me. M is for the mercy she possesses. O means that I owe her all I own. T is for her tender, sweet caresses. H is for her hands that made a home. E means everything she's done to help me. 
Jeremy's real and regular, you see. Put them all together, they spell mother. A word that means the world to me. Okay, there you go. Thank you, Mom. Happy Mother's Day. I love you. All right. Well, all righty then. Had to get those mothers out there a big kick, right? Everybody gets a shout out, especially if you are a mother. On this wonderful Mother's Day. Since how it is a Sunday, we are going to uh, do a little bit of um, gospel music. Oh, Lord. When I am on walls and wonder, consider all the worlds I have set me. I see the stars, I hear the rolling thunder, thy power throughout the universe display. Then sings my soul, my Savior God, to thee, how great thou art, how great thou art. Then sings my soul, my Savior God, to thee, how great thou art, how great thou art. And when I think that God, his son not spared me, sent him to die, I scarce can take it in that on the cross my burden gladly bearing. He bled and died to take away my sin. Then sings my soul, my Savior God, to thee how great thou art, how great thou art. Then sings my soul, my Savior Dear God, to Thee, how great Thou art, how great Thou art. When Christ shall come with the uh, of acclamation, and take me home, with joy shall my heart fill my heart. And then I shall bow in humble adoration, and then proclaim, my God, how great thou art. Then sings my soul, my Savior God, to thee, how great thou art, how great thou art. That sings my soul, my God, to thee, how great thou art, how great thou art. Okay, it's very difficult to sing with a cloggy up nose, but hey, I come to the garden. Alone, while the dew is still on the roses, and the voices I hear falling in my ear, the Son of God discloses, and He walks with me, and He talks with me and he tells me I am his own and the joy we share as we tarry there none other has ever known 
while he speaks and the sound of his voice is so sweet the birds hush their singing and the melodies that he gave to me within my heart are ringing and he walks with me and he talks with me and he tells me I am his own and the joy we share as we tarry there none other has ever known okay <clears throat> alright looks like story time for the kids now look, kids, why don't you all gather around? Tell your mom, tell your grandma, tell everybody you know. It's story time with TV Grandpa. That's right, TV Grandpa is going to tell you a little story. Now today's little story is going to come directly right out of the Bible. It's going to have a little bit of this and a little bit of that. But it's going to tell you a story about this young man who found himself in a precarious position. Now, first things first, his name is Daniel, and he was treated awfully weird and bad for a, a young man of God, but he was placed in the right places at the right time. And he ended up with a king named Darius. Well, Darius really liked Daniel, and Daniel was quite smart, and he could divine dreams. Well, anyway, Dan Darius appointed Daniel as 120 straps uh, to rule throughout the kingdom. Now, with three administrators over them all, and whom one of them was Daniel. Well, now, the straps were made accountable to them so that the king might not suffer losses. Now, Daniel so distinguished himself among the administrators that the straps, by his ex exceptionalist qualities, that the king planned to set him over the whole kingdom. And at this, the administrators and the straps tried to find grounds to discharge against Daniel in his conduct of governmental affairs. But they were unable to do so because he was too straightforward, and they could not find no corruption in him because he was trustworthy and neither corrupt nor negligent. Finally, these men said, well, we will never find any basis for charges against this man, Daniel, unless it has something to do with the laws of his God. Now, see, Darius and their uh, religion didn't have the same gods as Daniel. Daniel's God was the God of all, the God of the fathers, the God of Abraham, the God of Zeus, not Zeus, the God of Abraham, the God of uh, Joseph, Jacob, and all the uh, elders, Moses, go to sleep. So he was uh, a very powerful God, the God of his ancestors, that's right. He's God to you and me also, and he's the father of Jesus Christ. Well, anyway, so these administrators and straps went to as a group to the king and said, May King Darius live forever. The royal administrators, perfects, straps, advisors, and governors have all agreed that the king should issue an edict and enforce the decrees that anyone who prays to any god or human being during the next thirty days, except for you, your majesty, shall be thrown into the lion's den. Now, your majesty, issue the decree and put it in writing so that it cannot be altered. Now, in accordance with the law of the Medes and Persians, which cannot be repealed.
So King Darius put the decree into writing. Now when Daniel learned that the decree had been published, he went home to his upstairs room where the window was opened towards Jerusalem. And three times a day he got down on his knees and he prayed, giving thanks to his God, just as he had done before. Then these men went in as a group and found Daniel praying and asking God for help. And so they went to the king and spoke to him about his royal decrees. Now, did you not publish a decree that during the next 30 days anyone who prays to any god or human being except for you, your majesty, would be thrown into the lion's den? Well, this is how it ended up, where David, uh, where Daniel ended up, heading for the lion's den. Well, the king answered, the decree stands in accordance with the law of the Medes and the Persians, which cannot be repealed. Then they said to the king, well, Daniel, who is one of the exiles from Judea, pays no attention to you, your majesty, or to the decrees that, that you have put in writing. He still prays three times a day. Well, when the king heard this, he was greatly distressed because he was de determined to rescue Daniel and made every effort until sundown to save him. Then the men went as a group to King Darius and said to him, Remember, your majesty, that according to the law of the Medes and the Persians, no decree or edict uh, that the king issues can be changed. So the king gave the order. And they brought Daniel to throw him into the lion's den. Well, the king said to Daniel, May your God, whom you serve, continually rescue you. And so a stone was brought in place over the mouth of the den, and the king sealed it with his own signet ring, and with the ring on of his nobles so that Daniel's situation might not be changed. Then the king returned to his palace and spent the night without eating and without any entertainment being brought to him, and he could not sleep. At the first light of dawn, the king got up and hurried to the lion's den, and when he came near the den, he called to Daniel in anguish and voice. And Daniel's servant of the living God, has your God whom you serve continually been able to rescue you from the lions? And Daniel answered, May the king live forever. My God sent his angel, and he shut the mouths of the lions. They have not hurt me, because I was found innocent in his sight. Nor have I ever done any wrong before you, your majesty. And the king was overjoyed and gave orders to lift Daniel out of the den. And when Daniel was lifted out from the den, no wound was found on him because he had trusted in his God. At that, the king commanded the men who had falsely accused Daniel were brought in and threw them into the lion's den along with their wives and children and before they reached the floor of the den the lions had overpowered them and crushed them all their bones then king darius wrote to all the nations and peoples of every language in all the earth may your prosperity great may you prosper greatly I issue a declaration that in every part of my kingdom, people must fear and reverence the God of Daniel. For the living God and he and for he is the living God and he endures forever and his kingdom will not be destroyed. His dominion will never end. He rescues and he saves. He performs signs and wonders. In heavens and on the earth, he has rescued Daniel from the power of the lions. 
And so Daniel prospered during the reign of Darius and the reign of Cyrus the Persians. Okay, there you have it. That was our <laughs> story today for the kids. And it was brought to you by uh, Thinkful Nests by Jenny Christopher. That's right, Thinkful Nests by Jenny Christopher is a book, first of a series of books. Hopefully the series will be continued. It's available at Amazon.com and uh, Brightside Bookshops and Patch.com. Google it up, Thinkful Nests by Jenny Christopher. That's uh, Janie, sorry, J-A-N-E-Y. Christopher, and uh, you'll find it right there, and it's a great book, wonderful to be told, story that is wonderful to be told, so Thankful Nests by Janie Christopher, alrighty then, hey, um, now that looks like it brings us to our daily bread portion of the program, our daily bread portion of the program is brought to you today by The Bible with Frisco 2021. The Bible with Briscoe 2021 is a daily reading of the Bible to be completed within one year. Today's daily reading will be 2 Kings 7 through 9 and John 1, 1 through 28. So don't forget to tune into the Bible with Briscoe 2021 for your daily reading of the Bible. Okay, let's see. Uh, today's uh, devotion is called Noticing Nature. And uh, for noticing nature, we are going to be reading the scriptures, Matthew six twenty-five through 34, and here we go. Therefore, I tell you, do not worry about your life, what you will eat or drink, or about your body, what you will wear. Is, is not the life, your life more than food, and the body more than clothes? Look at the birds in the air. Do they not sow or reap or store away in barns? And yet, your heavenly Father feeds them. Are you not more valuable than they? And can any one of you, by wearing a worrying, add a single hour to your life? And why do you worry about clothes? See how the flowers of the field grow. They do not labor or spin, yet I tell you that not even Solomon in all his splendor was dressed like one of these. If that is how God's clothes the grass of the field, which is here today and thrown into the fire tomorrow, then he will not much more clothe you, you of little faith. So don't worry, saying, what shall we eat, or what shall we drink, or what shall we wear? For the pagans run after all these things, and your heavenly Father knows that you need them. But seek first his kingdom and his righteousness, and all these things will be given to you as well. Therefore do not worry about tomorrow, for tomorrow will worry about itself. Each day has enough trouble of its own. And there you have it. That was Matthew six twenty-five through 34. Which concludes uh, the Daily Bread portion of the program for the day, which uh, was brought to you by The Bible with Briscoe 2021, a daily reading of the Bible to be completed within one year. Alrighty, hey, that concludes the ODB. Uh, the Daily Bread portion of the program, which concludes uh, the Shen Show for today. Got one more song for you, which I cut off short yesterday. Actually, I didn't cut the song. I cut off my my uh, goodbye, and that's what we're going to do. Oh, well, goodbye, my friends. It's uh, time to go. I said goodbye, my friends. It's uh, time to go. Oh, I hate to leave you, but I really must go. So goodbye, my friends. Friends, goodbye. This here's Ben Shenandoah Briscoe saying hello and how are you? Thanks for tuning into the Shen Show and as always, you know, God loves you and so do I. So have a blessed day and uh, remember, uh, remember to come back and see us again tomorrow because, well, hey, I'll be here and I hope that you are too.